What is up fellow bench warmers? Welcome to another episode of Daily Fantasy Quickie. Alright guys, today uh, marami, we have a lot of games once again and um, of course we are here with our commissioner Eric. Hi Eric. Hello. Audio muna guys. Uh, so Eric's uh, outside and are trying to um, anyway, kahit outside siya he's, ano, he's with us and audio lang muna tayo. Alright, so let's start off siguro with some of the notables just quickly, no? The the first rounders are still uh, red hot. Sina Curry, Joel Embiid, Tatum, Jokic. Jokic actually is very hot right now. Triple-double uh, machine. Muntik na quadruple. <laughs> Turnover oh. sin eh. Oh. <laughs> Pero okay lang. They, the, yung owners for sure will, ano, will, oh, oh. will forgive him for kahit na 10 turnovers pa yan. Kasi for the past 3 games, uh, sobrang sulit na. Pero usually si Jokic is a slow starter eh. Diba? Mga seasons niya. So yeah. This year... This year okay. Ang really yes. in shape. Oh, and the, of course, oh. napag-usapan na rin natin before, Miles Turner, Drummond, and Vucevic, all consistent performers. Hopefully, uh, they will be able to maintain that uh, consistency. Drummond is on fire, ah. Talagang grabe. Six blocks. Oh, okay. so defense, eh, no? Oh. And even si Turner, actually. Oh, oh. Even Both si of Turner. Them. Grabe. Uh, and yun, and the others, like, yung favorite ko, Jeremy Grant, uh, nag- medyo kinabahan ako kanina eh kasi nag-start parang 1 out of 9 yata eh. Yung Pero ano yun eh, yun yun ang ano. Oo. Yan ang 3 and D specialist nung drafts. Lahat gumawa. Mikal, OG, Jeremy, di ba? Lahat gumawa. Oo. So, so yun. Those are the notables. Of course, some of the players that you have to have on your team or for some reason, ba? Nasa waiver pa. Sina Larry Nance who's been who will replace Kevin Love. Kevin Love would be out for a couple of weeks yata, two to three weeks, parang ganun. Um, mm. And si Randall, Randall, Julius Randall, playing very well. Medyo parang close to triple-double machine eh. Oo, si Julius Randall. Talagang lahat tayo nagkamali dito kay Julius Randall. Although, hindi, may mga believers naman ni Randall. Pero, Pero mas maraming one, hindi. Ako, not one of them, definitely. Mas maraming hindi believers. Actually, yung performance na ngayon, is what we expected last year when he moved to New York and siya lang yung parang focal point ng offense ngayon this year uh, apparently siya na talaga I think it's dahil sa coach di ba? si Tibbs uh, so talagang 40, 44 minutes grabe di overtime yun ha <laughs> so as we all know si Tibbs would love to have his uh, veterans and star players burn those minutes eh, para oh. sulit na sulit eh Pag tinignan mo yung rotation ng New York, only 8 players played. Tapos yung bench, played 15 minutes each lang. So yung starters ang talagang Pero grabe. Pero lo- wala, wala rin kasi like si na Alec Burks, wala. Oo. Uh, so I think malaking bagay din. Hindi, ang kalaan na i-consider dyan is that hindi porke may injury, may mag-step up sa New York na ibang players. Kasi si Tibbs, you just rather play yung mga natitira uh, sa rotation niya. Uh, so diba? and also they're not expected to be a real a playoff team kumbaga so parang they won't really preserve their stars I think ganun Uh-oh. sa New York eh, parang there's no reason for them to preserve their stars to the playoffs so ano kasi they're not really expected to make the playoffs eh. tama tama hindi rin, pero there, si tips kasi hindi naman magpapatalo yan eh hindi magkatak yan eh diba yeah. so yun nga kahit na anong record nila he's gonna play to win so yun uh, so, so, starters, uh, so yun, those are the players that are very hot uh, right now. Pero on the flip side, here are some of the players that are really worrying now. Uh, first is Eric Bledsoe. He started well. Yung first game niya, okay. Eh. Oh. And then, wala na. Nawala na. Actually, ano, ako, uh, sobrang fan ako ni Bledsoe going to the season. The first game, tuwang tuwa nga ako. Kasi I have him in most, in a lot of my leagues. Pero the way I saw kanina, I watched the game, napanood ko yung game niya. Sobrang medyo nawawala siya eh sa offense. 
very passive tapos hindi siya masyadong aggressive is aggressive sa sa paghanap ng sarili niyang shot so medyo worrying for me yung nakita ko kanina uh, oh, pero Bledsoe was known to have stretches like this mm, like may, yeah. every season meron siyang stretch na sobrang slump talaga pero 3 games na to ah so yun nakakatakot eh. well wala eh at this point I think he's not a player you would drop Yes, no, right? don't. Uh, yes. He, he's not, he may be the player you can trade, pero most likely you, you trade at a discount. So, uh, might as uh, well take the wait na lang and see. Kapag pray. Oo, wait, wait and see lang kay Bled. So, pero worrying, nakaka-worry na talaga. Kung merong, uh, kung merong kahit sino dyan na bigla na lang in-offer kayo ng Bled. So, na medyo fair deal, I, I'll take it right now. Uh, kung meron, kung meron. Pero, or or someone na... Uh, Maybe having a slump then. Uh-oh. Pero equally good upside with Bledsoe. Oh, if if let's say Lonzo Ball was available for Bledsoe, I would take Lonzo. Yeah. Yun ang, mas yeah, marami yeah, yeah. na yun eh. Mas mag- maganda Uh-oh. rin yung upside ni Lonzo eh. Oo. At saka younger. younger. Okay, another player na who didn't play, actually late scratch na bad trip ako kasi he's a player in a couple of my leagues. Si Jamal Murray. Just when you thought na he'll be Last game, he did really well. Kala mo, okay na. And then today, out. Late scratch. They worried ako kay Murray kasi sabi ko nga sa sinulat ko, parang banged up na early on. Uh, coming from the bubble. Tapos, bad start pa. Medyo yeah. hindi pa ano. So, I don't know. Ang hirap lang. When will he get his legs back? Kasi Actually, tuloy-tuloy ang games eh. May offer nga ako dito for... Jamal Murray, if someone wanted to get Jamal Murray in one of the leagues, Marcus okay, Smart ang in-offer. Ah, Marcus Smart. Well, Papaisip ko rin eh, with the slump ni Jamal Murray. <laughs> Parang, uh, depende sa strategy hold, mo eh, no? Uh, I'll hold, I'll hold to, with, I'll hold on to Murray. Actually, after Marcus the offer, gumawa naman the next day. So, mapapaisip ka talaga. Si Marcus Smart kasi, sa nakikita ko ah, yung, yung, yung bump na nakikisip natin with Kemba out, hindi kasi natin nakikita rin eh. I mean, yeah. a little disappointing din si Marcus Smart eh. Kaya oh. siguro siya in-offer din sa'yo, Jeff. Kasi, ngayon nga, medyo disappointing rin oh. siguro yung, ano, yung owner. Oh. Oh, so, yun yung sinabi mo kanina, let so disappointing kung may mag-offer ng isang disappointing player din. Baka, di ba? Parang ganun yeah, yung With similar player. upside, ang ang problem ko lang rin kasi doon, uh, Marcus Smart, parang yung upside is not similar with Jamal Murray. Hmm. Kasi parang Tama. feeling ko, unless I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to boost some of my stats like the defense, uh, at siguro yung assist, uh, hindi din naman magbabago masyado eh. The rebound siguro, uh, but other than that, walang reason for me to take maybe take Smart to Smart eh, at this point. Hey, kasi si Smart, I mean, wala si Kemba, this is the best case scenario na eh, di ba? I mean, sino ka na pa bang pwedeng mangyari? Although, well, yeah, worst case sila with Jalen Brown Major. Pero, ito na yung best case sa kanya eh. Kasi yun yung position niya eh. He's now starting. So, kung hindi pa rin siya nagpo-perform ng yung parang best case na naisip natin, I guess, ito na yun, di ba? Oo. Oh. Wala na nga upside. So, so yun. So, uh, Jamal Murray is lumping. And then, si D'Angelo Russell. Yes. Um, hindi ko alam kung because of the slow start eh. He started late, di ba? No first game, he was late for the yeah. game. So, he was benched no first quart- first half. Um, and then, and then, kumuha. Siguro, yung gawa niya is, ano eh, hindi, not to the level na we were expecting. Yeah, Mga gawa problem. naman, but uh-huh. I think, not as bad as maybe si Jamal when he started. No, the problem with Angelo is that Minnesota lost Carl Anthony Towns. We, well, we think it's good because he's gonna be the star now without Carl Anthony Towns. But they're really bad. Even with Towns, they're bad. Without Towns, they're really, really bad. And yeah. because of that, they'll be they, they'll be games where they'll be blown out. Talagang most of the games they'll be blown out. So the minutes ni De Angelo will be limited, uh, diba? And he's someone who needs a lot of minutes, a lot of shots to be able to get the stats. Yes. He's not efficient. So, th- that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> problem. Oh, that's unless, a problem. Unless you got D'Angelo sa mga 6th round, siguro medyo okay-okay na. No? Pero, 50th si D'Angelo eh. He was so, picked around the 50th. So, usually so, ang range ni D'Angelo, or mga 4th to 5th round eh. Yes. So, may isang league kasi ako he dropped to mga 6th eh. So, we 
which is not bad bargain already for the Angelo. Pero again, um, this is different from ano, a Brooklyn scenario of the Angelo. That, at that time, the same team was, star player, no? Eh. At the team was good. That team was yeah, scrappy, the team was better. Was good. This team, yung moral ng team na to, I can see parang and early yung coaching don was way oh, better. Oh, oh. Early on pa lang itong moral ng net ng Wolves na to, parang hindi na maganda eh, di ba? It's uh, not good talaga. Nakita mo magulo yung roster, it's all over the place. And so, I think malaking bagay yung coaching. Yes. I don't think yes. si uh, Ryan Saunders, right? Ang coach niya. Yes. Uh, and they started Rubio na kanina. That's a thing that we have to discuss din siguro. So, sa mga listeners, Rubio and Paul Culver went to the starting five. This might be the, the permanent starting five already. Well, well, wala si ano, Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, but none of them performed also. Rubio oh, si Culver killed my field goal. Eh. Zero, uh, zero out of ten. So, <laughs> so wala. Yeah. That's a mess. Minnesota is a mess. Uh, so, uh, might stay away. Pero ang worrying dyan is that they are a mess. Baka mag, 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 may impact with Carl Anthony Towns taking more rest. Yes. So, yun yung, yun yung babantayan natin. So, hopefully, they won't be as bad in the next few games. You should wish that hopefully when he when he's ready to return, they're not too far and away. They started 2-0. Uh, so, kaya nga, sana, sana wag siya masyado malaya sa 10th. Kasi if hindi, that's, uh, diba, they'll, they'll that's tank possibility na, uh, na mag-tank na. Uh, okay, so, let's move to the bottom of the you know, roster list. No? Like, si Otto Porter, uh, Little, medyo struggling then, just like initially yung other Chicago teammates niya. Uh, but again, must be said siguro considering the role he's playing off the bench. Um, do you think may impact yun that he's playing off the bench now? No impact naman, but I can see that he's struggling pa. I think he's not yet in shape. Uh, wala pa sa condition yung body shape yung katawad niya basketball shape kasi batagal din to nawala like almost yes, yes. two years din actually he's performing naman he's scoring yeah. he gets some rebounds but yung steals niya blocks yung dati defense wala, wala. yung all around stats if you stats. can see him if you can see him he's a little big right now Tumaba. compared to before tumaba eh yeah. so worrying yan kasi Tad Young is coming so, coming back soon so I don't I think, think Otto, nasa roster na siya kanina pero hindi lang ginamit pero I uh, think uh, soon enough Tad Young will be part of the rotation so Otto Porter will not be out totally pero baka from 28 29 minutes kanina baka maging 20 and without steals without blocks hindi naman siya any special sa scoring or threes baka drop a ball na siya soon enough uh, so you have to be ready na ready na kayo with your ano, and maybe your lower your expectations if you mm-hmm. were able to uh, to experience the best of Otto Porter when he was in Washington. Not this. Means, hindi na babalik yun. Yes. So, yes. Le- ano lang, lower your expectations on Otto Porter. Alright, another player na we thought that would perform dahil wala si Kemba kanina pinag-usapan natin si Marcus Morris. I see Marcus Smart uh, is Jeff T. Si Jeff T kala natin would replace Kemba in terms of facilitating the offense. Pero kanina, mas mas yung sabi ko kay Eric mas gumagawa pa si Peyton Pritchard. Uh, for Jeff the past D. few games, Peyton Pritchard has averaged 20 minutes already, oh. and it's really impressive. Because uh, and even in college, naman eh, this guy has been a star in college. So hindi naman surprising yun, lalo na mga fans ng college game. So the problem is uh, he was not. It was really Jeff Jeff Teague's job, pero he's not run away with it because been shooting the ball terribly. So ngayon, nakikita ko na you get for deep leaguers, pwede na nyo nang i-pick up si Peyton for ano, mauna na kayo just in case, diba? Pero Last ngayon ba, do you, if you have Jeff T, do you get Peyton Richard for Jeff T? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Uh, ako, I'm I'm holding, uh, I'm giving T one more week siguro. Mm-hmm. Ako personally lang. Pero para by that time, wala na si Peyton Richard. Hindi, yun nga. Parang for me, Peyton Pritchard is ano lang naman eh. Parang last spot siguro. Last spot. Yeah. Filler. Parang Most likely, hindi naman mo lang consistent rin kasi yung minutes. Yes. Yung yes. Hindi naman siya maging consistent enough for you to parang parang maging big loss for you pag hindi mo nakuha si Peyton Pritchard. Yeah. Pero hindi ko muna gigive up si Tink. Kasi kahit pa paano, may steals pa, may assist na konti. 
So let's see. One more week. One yeah. more week. All right. So meron pang nasa Okay, so those are the you know, 30 the players that we should be worried about. Uh hmm. yung watch list naman natin. Um uh watch list natin. We have a few on the watch list. Cam Johnson of Phoenix. Um actually parang palitan sila ni Jay Crowder in terms of ano performing. Si Cam Johnson has been shooting the ball well. So yun oh. magandang news. Yun so yun I, news. actually ang 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 surprise ako he didn't uh, start or at least didn't uh, perform well nung start considering that he was one of the better performers no bubble. Diba no si Cam Johnson was one of the he was shooting the lights out in bubble eh. so I was expecting he would be drafted kahit na sa mga last few slots. Pero hindi. Yeah, kasi si J. Crowder is, was signed eh. So parang people were afraid na he oh, was gonna lose his spot. Pero Which is, he na, did. Na, nawala yes. niya yung spot niya. Oo, pero he's still still performing. I mean, he's still doing well. Kasi Phoenix is very deep. Yun ang isang problem. But Uh-oh. the second five, when you watch Phoenix play at the rotation, uh, they re- replace their whole first five with the second five eh. Hindi sila nag-stagger ng players. So, in the second five ng Phoenix, si Cam Johnson ang scorer. Oh. So, yun ang maganda sa kanya. And if he makes his shots, he's gonna get attempts. Itingnan nyo yung attempts. Meron siyang attempts. He's gonna make his shot. Then, may trees at may points ka. Like kanina, may steals at blocks pa. E di, di ba? Sulit na. Sulit na. Oh. Oh. So, other players, like, napag-usapan natin, Peyton Pritchard, should be on your watch list. Si Sadiq Bey has been shooting well as well. Off the bench naman siya kanina. Uh, I think yesterday the yesterday yata yun, or the previous game he started dahil wala si Blake uh, today he came off the bench and shot well so Sadiq is si one of the players na you should oh. be looking looking for uh, watch look, lang, watching ha? watching watch lang not pick up yet oh. si Blake went out with a concussion so Sadiq started in the second half again tapos uh, his defense is very very good ang problem yung shooting niya is still not there. Pero nung college, medyo shooter din to eh. So I think may potential din. May potential siya. So remember, Josh Jackson is already starting. Diba? Uh-huh. So kung sa Dick Bay starts also, dalawa na yan. You can, you, can, you can use these two players. Kasi together with Jeremy Grant, yun ang starters na nila pang going forward kung wala si Blake. Pero watch lang, watch lang. Uh, Detroit yeah. is 0-4. So... Two, 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 two to three more weeks na ganyan, they'll play the young ones already. Oh, and uh, sino Blake, yun, katulad niya yan, concussion, uh, most likely would be out a week yes. or two yan for sure. Uh, medyo stringent yung concussion protocols ng NBA. Eh. Kaya uh, i-time nyo na. Oh, uh, so, and then the other one is Tyrese Halliburton. Ito, si oh. Tyrese, very rarely ito nasa, ano, nasa free agent list. Uh, but I think solid pick up to for your last two spots siguro in the roster. Mm, Medyo high na tayo eh. over the past few weeks sinasabi even before the the start of the season during the preseason medyo sinasabi na natin na bantayan si Tyrese Halliburton because Oh, na drop ko yan eh. Nakuha mo yan eh. Nakuha mo yan eh. Nakuha mo yan eh. Na drop ko dun sa isang league natin sa league ah, natin na FBW. Na drop ko. Mali-mali yun eh. Mali na gawa ko. Actually, yung mga re-recommend ko minsan mali rin. <laughs> Hindi ko rin nagagawa. Mahirap din kasi pag kanwari may one team. Hindi, depende rin kasi on the roster that you uh, have. Diba? Kasi it doesn't mean na oh, watch mo Cam Johnson pero if, minsan if it doesn't fit your roster maybe another player on the watch list would be a better uh, pick up for you. Diba? So, pero si Tyrese sobrang impressive eh. Parang hindi rookie. Solid kasi siya for the uh, scoring. He has the assist. He has good field goal percentages. May konting steals wala masyadong turnovers in limited minutes so I think yun yung upside talaga niya eh for now hindi si Luke Walton ang coach nito they'll, they'll be even be better in fantasy because he's not being given the backup point guard minutes eh, si Corey Joseph ginagamit pa rin nila which dapat totally kay Tyrese na eh diba? uh, I mean hindi yung minutes ni Tyrese is already okay pero yung usage niya yung yung time time niya with the ball mas 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 konte because Corey Joseph is the one who's playing the point de ba so uh, pero kung ibigay na lang sa kanya yung point guard duties sa second five grabe uh, that that Tyrese will be pero abangan natin uh, right now si actually right now very uh, predictable na yung Sacramento 
uh, rotation eh. so makikita mo na usually si Tyrese Saliburton yung first player of the bench mm-hmm. uh, and then you know you starting five are set so and then si uh, um, and then the so like si white side comes off the bench pero hindi na naman masyado nila yeah, yeah, so, so so medyo predictable na yung ano, roster ng yung Sacramento so I think dapat si Tyrese na pick up niya na yan at this point si white, si white side marami magkatanong niyan drop na ba di ba kahapon oh, oh, na marami ba? marami na yung ita drop ang hirap eh if you're if you're if you're winning if you're winning don't drop if you're losing I'll drop yun na lang yun it's a simple as that if you're like me 1-8 every week sa fan FBW tapos hawa ko si Whiteside I will drop kasi hindi na kaya eh di ba? Oh, hindi na pwede hindi, hindi, on. kung hindi talaga siya nagpa-perform eh oh. but if okay. your team is strong tapos you're winning no hold on muna oh. Oh. okay so lastly uh, for sure ito ito sa mga challenges ngayon kasi very a lot of players or a lot of managers already Uh, streaming players, dropping players na hindi nagpo-perform. Sometimes even players who were drafted in the 8th, ninth round na na-drop na because yun nga, hindi na wala na sa rotation or hindi nagpo-perform very well. Like, for example, Brandon Clark has been dropped. Si na DeAndre Hunter, na-drop na rin yan, na-stream na rin yan. Um, and then, of course, other players na, yan, si na Halliburton, na-drop yes. na rin yan at some point. Uh, and I'm sure, like, si na Teague, si na Porter, for some leagues, most likely the drop na yan, eh, kasi nga hindi sila nagpa-perform very well. So, using your waiver priority, if you are on the top of the waiver priority list, nasa first three ka, first four, first five, um, at this point, do you use your waiver priority for those types of players? Depends on the type of player, unang-una. Mayroon yung Brandon Clark. Clark. I think isa sa mga very highly okay. drop ngayon, Brandon Clark. I, I, ako, ako personally, it depends on your view of Brandon Clark Tsaka yung team mo Kung kanari, Brandon Clark Nakikita mo siya as gonna be part of your core ng team mo I will use him Whether I'm first or second or whatever In my waiver priority Pero if you feel like Brandon Clark is parang gamble lang Parang bukat ko lang, ganyan I, I won't use him because uh, di, Sigurado yan, there will be a hotter free agent soon oh, Diba? Maga pa yung season eh Oo, oh, maga pa yung season Pero, pero ako personally nagamit ko na yung waiver wire ko sa isang league which is Jeremy Grant and for me no brainer ko yun grabe na drop Jeremy Grant oh na drop na drop si Jeremy Grant sa although ano yun eh uh, it was a 12 team league naman so hindi siya ganun ka ah okay okay pero kahit na 12 team league hindi dapat na drop si Jeremy Grant oh. eh na, nag waiver ako I did not know kung anong waiver ranking ko basta nag waiver lang ako kasi no brainer yun eh pero I got him so ibig sabihin may ibang tao hindi nag waiver kasi yeah. alam ko hindi pa na ko yung top sa waiver list eh. Yeah. So yung mga waiver nyo kahit early on. Kasi Jeremy Grant will be not, will not be a streamer. Yun na, pag kukuha kayo ng streamer, huwag nyo gamitin ang waiver nyo. Kasi hindi uh, naman. Yung alam nyo madadrop nyo rin uh, later. Huwag, huwag. Pero kung mga Jeremy Grant, Larry Nance, nabasa ko sa FPW league, nadrop pa ta si Larry Nance ato sa isang yeah, league. Meron, sa isang league namin nadrop. At yun talagang kahit na first FBW na league yes oh yung sa oh. FBD sa, sa uh, bench warmers league na drop si Larry Nance exacto na drop siya on the day na bumalik si Kevin Love okay. which is na injured ulit si Kevin Love so <laughs> naging hot yung, pick up ulit yung Brandon Clark kung ako I will not be against kung gamitin nyo rin kasi may upside pero wag lang yung gamitin nyo tapos na drop nyo lang ulit sayang yung pag, pag gamit nyo ng waiver nyo oh, so yun yung How about players like si na DeAndre Hunter, oh. Tyrese Halliburton? Tyrese, oo. You can use, okay lang. Yes. Tyrese, oo. DeAndre Hunter. Hindi. Mga ganun type of players. Unless sobra kang high on DeAndre, ako hindi personally. So ako, I won't. Jeff Teague, Otto Porter. Injured yeah. players. Rui Hachimura, nadodrop na rin yan. Uh, ako, at will, one point, will... Derek White, nadrop yan. Sa Derek isang White. League. Derek White, kung ako kahit uh, number one ako, higher pa yan than sino may sinabi natin kanina. Yung, yung si Jeremy, oh, sige, parehas kayo Jeremy Grant. Ganun uh, level. Kailangan kunin nyo yan. Pag, there's no reason ba't madrop si Derek White. Wala uh, reason eh. Hindi dapat siya nadadrop. Eh. Pag nadrop siya, unahan na yan. Kunin nyo na. Uh, so, yun. So, yun, those, yun yung tips to use the waiver wire. Kasi, although hindi hindi siya masyadong binibigyan minsan ng value of some manager. It's very important na 
uh, mag-preserve rin kasi at one point biglang may na-drop na mid-level guy uh, na supposedly ikaw yung number one pero nagamit mo for a bottom player or a streaming player di ba? so sayang naman yung number one so, priority mo Josh, example na last kasi Josh Jackson kasi na-drop uh, na-drop na siya twice eh yung first time hindi ko siya win ever I mean feeling ko wala lang eh parang parang uh, tricky lang, parang hot lang siya. Pero today, I use my waiver wire on him na. Kasi I feel na starter na siya and mas solid na yung putting niya sa rotation ng Detroit. So, I'm I'm more confident na I, I will be using him long term, like one month, two months, mga ganun. So, I will uh, be using the waiver wire on him. Also, malaking factor din on where you are in the standings. Uh, Your team is not performing very well chances are baka magpanic ka so if there's someone na uh, really you feel na uh, would be worth that waiver pwede mo na rin gamitin at saka kung mababa ka sa waiver pag mga 9, 10, 11 kunin mo yan <laughs> oh, wala namang mawawala sa'yo eh. lalo pag 14 ka mag waiver uh, ka lang kasi wala namang mawawala eh. uh, oh. tama tama pag nasa bottom ka na ng waiver uh, gamitin mo na ng gamitin oh, gamitin hindi mo na kailangan hintayin na umangat ka ba bago ka pa makaangat wala na rin eh Oh, baka naubusan ka na ng players Tama, yun So, yun, yun, guys Ito, uh, at least for this quickie We have a good tip on ano, waiver Using your waiver priority Siguro tomorrow we'll talk about a little more about trading uh, Strategies when trading Kasi at this point, for sure, marami ng mga trade offers Na, na nag, nagbabatuhan ng trade offers Dahil nga sa mga underperforming players So like right now as we are recording this may message ako nakuha on the trade that I'm working out with another manager sa ibang league so for sure merong mga ganyang cases na ngayon so tomorrow we'll discuss more about that alright so that's our quickie for today uh, hope you naka, may napulit kayo from this quickie uh, again watch out for our year end uh, episode uh, we'll have Pinoy Ligas uh, Benny Benitez on the show uh, we'll record it later tonight and then we'll meet it sometime probably, probably tomorrow before the year ends. Alright, so Happy New Year to everyone and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.